Hey YouTube, it's Hake here, and I'm going to show you how to remove syskey off your computer. You luckily got conned by a tech support scammer and he's put this in. And when you restart the computer, you're going to just get syskey. And if you don't know the password, you can't get into the computer. Alright, so at this time, you are locked out completely. And I'm going to show you how to get past syskey and restore your com get back to onto your computer. Alright, so you're going to need at least two things here to do this. You're going to need a second computer that can burn a DVD. Any computer should do nowadays as a DVD drive. So you're going to need a second computer and you're also going to need some blank DVD RWs, okay? So you need a second computer and some blank DVD RWs, alright? So we're going to get onto a different computer here and get some stuff, alright? So what we're going to do is we're going to insert on our second computer, we'll pretend this is the second computer, we're going to insert a blank DVD into the computer, RW, if you don't know what they look like, I'm just going to do a Google search so you know, you can get them at a local shop, they're roughly, maybe tw you'll get them in a roughly in a pack like this, just buy some blank DVDs and put one into your computer, alright, so once you have a blank DVD into your computer, you're also going to install, um, Passcape software reset password tool. All right, the link for this program is in the description box, so you can download this. All right, so when you download this, what you're going to do is you're going to run ISO burner, and then you're going to click burn ISO image to DVD slash CD. Assuming that you have the DVD inserted in the computer, you want to click next, and then you'll have the DVD located and then you'll load it and then you'll click next right here I don't need to do this because I've already got a DVD made up so what you would do is you would click next that's going to burn the information onto the DVD once you create the DVD you are now ready to boot your other computer that's locked up with syskey off the DVD alright so in this case if you do not know how to boot your computer off a DVD at this time there is a link in the description box are in this pop-up right now that you will see and if you click that link it goes to another YouTube video that shows you how to boot your computer off a DVD you're gonna take the comp DVD out of this computer put it in the one with syskey and you're gonna boot that out the one with syskey off the DVD and you can follow the instructions that are currently in the video with the link in this pop-up that you're seeing now all right so now on to uh, using the utility to recover your computer and get back in all right so we're just going to go back to our other computer here and we're going to restart it completely and power it off hey I'm using a VM client so I can record here so we're going to uh, shut down the computer or we can reset it, shut down or reset. When you first boot your computer up, you have to hit the required key to uh, boot off a DVD. All right. If you haven't learned how to do this, click the link in the description box to learn how to boot off a DVD. All right, so I'm just booting off the DVD that I created. When you do it right, you're gonna get this, the uh, Passcape Recovery Utility once you booted your computer correctly off the DVD alright and if again click the link in the description box if you can't figure out how to boot off a com the DVD alright you need to learn how to boot off the DVD by configuring your BIOS to boot off a DVD to get this screen to pop up you're on here you're in good shape what you're gonna do is you're gonna click down here and you're gonna uh, click on uh, remove user sensitive information all right, and then click next, and then you're going to click on this drop-down key here, and you're going to see where it says reset syskey, and you're going to click re reset syskey, then you're going to click on this drop-down menu, and you're going to make sure you're selecting all this text here. All right, see, exactly like I have it here. All right, and then you're going to click next, and then you're going to click reset slash change, and then you're going to click yes. And then it's going to say the syskey was successfully reset. Just click OK. And uh, we'll go ahead and restart this computer. 
and it should boot into Windows once you've done this you can restart the computer all right we'll go ahead and restart the computer and if we did it right Windows should boot up without asking for syskey and as you can see we're now back on the computer syskey has been successfully removed off the computer you can now use this computer to do what you want again. That's how you remove Siski off the computer. If you enjoy my videos, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.